The Miami Dolphins need to make decisions about their impending free agents but they also have players on their roster they need to decide on. Miami will enter the 2022 NFL Draft with picks in every round in two selections in round four. This before we find out the conclusion of the NFL investigation in allegations that have been made by Brian Flores. If the Dolphins lose draft picks, then they will need to replace them. Miami doesn't have a ton of talent that would bring in top selections but they have players that could bring something in return. Byron Jones, Jones will count more against the Dolphins cap this year than any other player. He is largely underrated by the Dolphins fanbase but if Miami wanted to move on they could trade the veteran cornerback. Trading Jones would save the Dolphins just over $10 million with $6.3 million in dead money. It is not an ideal position for the Dolphins but trading him would also not be ideal either unless they have a plan in place to replace him. On the market, given Jones' contract, the Dolphins could get a mid-round pick for him. Devontae Parker, the Dolphins have already reportedly threw Parker's name out to fish for trade partners. That could heat up if they are serious at the NFL Combine that starts on Tuesday. Parker will save Miami $3.3 million but they would carry $5.40 in dead money. Parker should draw interest from other teams. His contract is team-friendly and he has talent. The problem is he is often injured and that will keep compensation in a trade, somewhere in the mid-rounds, at best. Mike Jasicki, Jasicki is an impending free agent but the Dolphins have until March 9 to tag him. If Miami opts to tag Jasicki, they could try and trade him. This would be a similar situation they had with Jarvis Landry who was tagged, shopped, and traded to the Browns. Jasicki could draw significant interest and could see a day two draft pick in return. Eric Rowe, any team watching Rowe the last few years will know he still has talent and can still play a big role on the defense. In Miami, he has lost out to Brandon Jones and Javon Holland. Rowe will count $5 million in cap space and the Dolphins could shop him around with an offer that includes eating some of his contract. Rowe isn't going to break any trade records but Miami could get a day three draft pick in return. Miles Gaskin, Gaskin's contract is only $2.5 million this year and a team that may need extra running back help could watch what Miami does in free agency. If the Dolphins are going to overhaul the running game, Gaskin could potentially become expendable. A sixth round pick or maybe at best a fifth would be great work by Greer. It's not impossible but I still think moving on would be unlikely this year.